What is up guys, this is Tarong Guy, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a new, well I guess a new gameplay. Since we just finished up Yellow yesterday, and it was uploaded yesterday at like 10 o'clock or something like that. First time ever using Premiere by the way, so that was really interesting. Well, the Premiere function, not the program Premiere. I've never had a YouTube Premiere, so that was interesting. So, up next, Pokemon Crystal. Let's go ahead and see this introduction because it's been a while. Ooh, it's the unknown. So now, oh, it's a whooper. Oh, I want a whooper. <laughs> Ugh, I really wish that I could keep this music. This music, this music sounds awesome. Um, but. You know, the copyright laws and all this other heavy jazz. I have to put something different there so maybe I can find a remix of the opening for this somewhere. I mean, that'd be really cool because I'm not talented enough to make one of myself, so. Pokemon Crystal version. So excited. Am I a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. All right, first game where it asks you if you are a boy or girl. I woke, I, sorry if I woke you up. Oh, oh, right, I forgot. So time zones are a thing. Um, so it is night. It is 11 o'clock right now. I mean, not that it matters because the speed up button will certainly mess with this. Um, and 42. Yeah, I'm recording this here um, on the 14th. So the day that the last episode of our yellow Nuzlocke came out is when I'm recording this one here because I'm up and I want to and I've been waiting all day to do it and his name is Oak as we remember him from oh it's an Alakazam that'd be pretty cool if we start off with an Alakazam um that'd be pretty interesting wouldn't it although there's dark types now so psychic wouldn't be able to work um hmm yeah right it's now what it's now ghost is super effective against psychics in this gen I think I think don't don't quote me but my name is none of these. None of those is my name. So now when it comes to Pokemon Gold and Silver and of course Crystal, this one here is a little bit different um, because, well, red and blue and yellow, my, it was, my rival was my cousin Brandon and myself. Now, Gold and Silver, we didn't get till quite some time after it had already been released. Um, but we did play it. We played it on one of my neighbor. Oh, I thought I put an item in there or whatever. Uh, one of my neighbors had Pokemon or had this game. Uh, our neighbor person was looking for me. He said he wanted to do something for him. Okay. Uh, Poke oh, right. We get the Poke gear. I forgot. Oh, great. So these people can call us now. Great. Thanks, Joey. I really wanted to come see you and your all your Rattatas. The day of the week isn't set, must, uh, what day is it? It is Sunday, actually. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day on a Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think. Sure, why not? Do you know how to use the phone? Yes. Yes, I do know how to use the phone. I don't, oh my god, just go away. I forgot that in this game here, people can call, or you know, you give people your numbers and what have you, who are you? Um, you're visiting. Yes, but who are you? Oh, right. Okay. It has been such a long time since I have played. Oh, right. There's that guy. He's going to kick us out. No, it's not. He's lying to you. Rude. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see who we, who we get. I wonder if you could help him, sure. To present the conference. Now, mind you, now I can't actually start the Nuzlocke until I get the, uh, I can't actually start the Nuzlocke until, of course, I get my first set of Pokeballs. So I believe that is after we go all the way up, talk to Mr. Pokemon. Oh, we got an email. Uh, I think this is about the egg. Yeah, Mr. Pokemon, yeah, okay, so it is Mr. Pokemon. I, I honestly don't remember 
really any of the towns, and that's going to be really annoying. Um, I know Violet City is the very first one, and then Azalea, and then... I don't know. Wow. for I cannot remember Johto's... All right, here we go. Let's see who it is. So we have a Raichu that we can get. Okay. No, we'll, we'll think about it. Hang on. So that's a Raichu. A Sneasel? That'd be pretty cool. I mean, it'd be horrible against fighting types, but no, we're not going to take the Sneasel. So hang on. And a Victory Bell. All right. So we have a Raichu, a Sneasel, or a Victory Bell. So two fully evolved Pokemon and then a Sneasel. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm going to ask some folks. So give me a second. I'm going to get some secondary opinions. All right. So I did a little bit of thinking, um, and I want to have the best chance of winning. Like I, I definitely want to have the best chance of success in this. So now, Victory Bell, Grass Poison type, yeah, they get access to all the powders, I think. Um, no, that would be through Bell Sprout, right up through Weeping Bell, wouldn't it? Sneasel would have probably start off with basic moves, like Growl and Fury Swipes or something like that. And then Raichu might have an electric type move, but I don't know if it actually learns anything. Um, you know, I'm gonna go with my gut, and we're gonna go with Raichu. I'm gonna go with my gut on this. We're gonna we're gonna say Raichu. You think it's a great Pokemon too? Cool, me too. Uh, yes, we will definitely give you a nickname. Raichu. Wait, wait. So last time we had Lacy nickname Sir Thickness, and he brought us awesome luck. So gotta ask the wife. Alrighty then, so we went with Hugh because that is actually the, well, it's the last meme that I've sent her um, today because we were talking about kids playing Uno and then the adults saving up all of their, you know, draw fours and what have you and I threw the whole, the, the whole, uh, welcome to, the, or get ready for the Shadow Realm Jimbo meme at her because, well, you can't see that and not, yeah, we got a phone number. He loved that machine? Dope. All right, so let us check and see here. Ooh, I forgot that we had them hold items. Okay, so Thundershock, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt, and he's holding a TM. What TM? Oh, right, now there's special defense as well. Okay. I forgot that they get special um, defense now. So it's not just specials. What's the TM? Ooh, I forgot. Outrage. <laughs> okay. Oh, do you give me Pokeballs already? You want me to have this? Oh, potions. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll take the potions. All right. Well, let's get on this. So we have... So as long as we don't run into any ground types, I... Th so like, if we don't run into an Onix or a Geodude or Golem or... Quagsire or... Oh, and it tells us the rote names. Very nice. All right, so now we get a kind of like a sneak peek at what we could possibly catch. We could possibly get a hip on top. Okay. That's pretty cool. Possibly get ourselves a, a hip on top. I'd be okay with that. I would be a okay with a hip on top. Oh, but he lived. Quick attack. Ooh, I love the animations of this game. I don't know why, I just do. Um, all that HP though. All right, so we have, we could have a chance at getting a hit on top. Oh, there's another hit on top. Oh wait, I forget our, our natures are part of this game yet. I don't, I don't remember, I didn't actually look. Maybe, maybe, I mean, I, I can check. I don't because I don't remember if natures are a thing here. Um, I don't see any there. I don't see any there. I don't see any there. Okay, so I guess not. Um, I do want to change the text speed though. Fast. There we go. All right. So let us get over to Mr. Pokemon's house. Already level six, so you know, Raichu or Hugh is uh, doing pretty well. So we have this one here. This is what they say, Route 29 or something like that. Oh, how fun would that be? 
how fun would that be to get Sir Thickness again? Oh, that'd be so cool. I'd be 100% okay with having Sir Thickness again. I'd be absolutely thrilled to have Sir Thickness again. Oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so, uh, uh yep. I, I hope so. I hope, because that would be the coolest thing. Oh wait, there's a berry up here, right? Please tell me it didn't randomize the berries too. Oh good, it didn't randomize the berries too. Good, 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 good. Because remember berries, um, well with this generation here, being able to hold items was something completely new. So that's, uh, that, uh, I don't know, to me that's really cool. I, I know that I was really happy with it. Cherry Grove City? Oh, we can talk to him and he gives us a map card, right? Or he gives us running shoes? No, I think he gives us the map card. But because we have that, the new feature there at the bottom of the screen, whenever you enter a new area, it's just like, hey, yeah, this is the area that you're in. Um, that, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so that means that our rival will either have the Sneasel or a Victory Bell. I didn't even think about that because if it's the Victory Bell, our electric type moves really won't do much. If anything. Thanks for showing me around, old man. I appreciate you. Map card that. There it is. Yep, map card. Alright, so let us go and heal Raichu real quick. Ugh. Now, I don't know about any of you, but for me, Soul, I, I think Soul Silver and Heart Gold were probably my favorite Pokemon games. Um, granted, I know they're the remakes and whatnot, but to me, they were just amazing. I, I love the fact that you could walk around with any Pokemon. That, that to me, was awesome. Um, then the Pokewalker was really cool. I remember I got that game the year of my senior trip. I hadn't played Pokemon for a while, and then I saw it. Ooh, it's a Stantler. Um, I hadn't played Pokemon for a while, and so I went ahead and I picked that up at Walmart before we went to Florida. And I played it on the plane, played it while we were at Disney and what have you. But I don't know, just walking around with the Pokewalker, all the other kids in the class, all the other kids in my class were just kind of like, you know, they kept themselves and they saw that I had a Pokeball on, and so you know, I got I caught flack for it, but you know, it it was cool to me, so I give a damn. <laughs> Um, an item. Okay, so now items are randomized. That's why I was kind of skittish about the berry. Oh my goodness. Why? Why is it every single first area that we run into, we run into a Mewtwo? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, if this item here is a Master Ball... Oh, it didn't die. We shouldn't die either. I mean, we're three levels higher than it and it's just confusion. Yeah. Um. But seriously though, why do we run into... <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that experience though. That's a hell of a good experience. It's a black belt. Okay. I thought maybe it would have been. What is the black belt? It increases fighting moves, right? Yeah, boosts fighting type moves. Okay. So, if we do run into that Hitmontop out there in the very first area, that'd be pretty neat. I mean, having a, a Hitmontop and then give him a black belt because he already has Rolling Kick. So, that's. Jeez! Why? <laughs> why though why are they throwing all these big things at me so soon like the game knows I'm just gonna have pokeballs right like that's gonna be so dumb I'm gonna literally have just a supercharged super powered um hue <laughs> right you couldn't think of what the heck his real name was then another Okay, well, Articuno and Mewtwo, apparently, are what are in this area right above Cherry Grove City. So, I don't think we're going to be able to catch a Pokemon here. Um, you know, because I just run... To me, thinking of the odds of trying to catch a Mewtwo or a, an Articuno with a Pokemon... I mean, don't get me wrong, I hear people do it all the time. They're like, oh, you yeah, know, in Pokemon Red, I, you know, first Pokeball, and then... Because normally in... It's Pokemon Red and Blue, though, where the Pokemon, like, the, sometimes the, the ball just wouldn't even open. It would just, like, bounce away. Ooh, and egg. It would just bounce away. Um, I don't know. Yes, I know the the chances of you collecting a, 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 a 
legendary Pokemon like Articuno or Mewtwo in a Pokeball are like slim to none. Um, well then I'm afraid that like a rare Pokemon, nah dude, it's a Raichu. <laughs> you literally gave, well, I guess not because you gave me a Gengar when we first met in another lifetime. Now how cool would it be if the uh, the final boss here was actually the po or was actually my character from Yellow. To me, that'd be pretty cool. But you know, I know that's not a thing. But that would be still be really cool. Um, so Professor Oak is a radio host. I'll take the, I'll take some heels. There you go. All right, let's get up on out of here. I can't believe. Oh, get phone call. It's a disaster. What's terrible? I don't know what should... I don't, I'm the 12 year old kid you told me to go up to talk to Mr. Pokemon. How am I supposed to tell you legal advice? Is this berry? Oh, it's a poison cure berry. Oh, right. I forgot. Um, you can get poison cures and I think that's like a paralyzed thing. Oh, and then this is the game. Oh, this is the game with the apricots and stuff, right? Yeah, where you can make the custom Pokeballs. A Kabuto. Okay, so we could possibly run into a Kabuto. Okay. So it's not just Articunos and Mewtwo's, you know, hanging around this, you know, new area where new trainers come with their brand new Pokemon to just get absolutely pooped on. I don't know how I like that. I, I don't know how I feel about that taste of lime and watermelon. Um, whatever the hell this is. Aha. Uh -huh. Sparkling water. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, you can... Like, when you breathe it in, like, you can taste the watermelon, but then as soon as you taste it, it doesn't quite like taste it. Oh, okay, so Stanley. Right, so it's Stanley, Kabuto, Mewtwo, and Articuno. Now, I'm wondering if it's just randomized to those set mons, or if there will be more mons just randomized into it. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean half the time, so I'm hoping that you knew what I mean, because apparently I don't know what I mean half the time. <sighs> okay. So I think if I battle another Mewtwo, like, now up there is going to be our battle, or one of our battles. And this here is the berry guy, right? And this guy gives us a berry after we take a berry from his tree. Pretty sure that's illegal to just take berries from people's trees. Do you give me a berry? Yes, I do know, I do, I do know berries here. I'll share a berry. Thank you. Thank you for sharing berries with me. Because they heal. They heal your mons when they run out of, or when they're losing their HPs. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, one last battle. I was hoping for one last battle. Uh, it is a Kabuto. Okay. Oh, I thought I could get to level 10. I guess not. Whatever. I mean, I could if I really wanted to, but, you know, the show must go on because it's already 18 minutes in and we still got a long road back. Oh, and we have a rival battle. Oh, I forgot. We have Cherry Grove City again. I forgot we have a rival battle right here. So I am... Uh, yeah, I'm going to heal. Even though I know I'll be higher, or a couple levels higher than his, <clears throat> than his starter, which I really can't remember. I can't remember if he'll have the Sneasel or the Victory Bell because I don't remember the order that it goes in. Uh, Raichu was the very first one, but I don't remember who the very first one originally was. Um, no, I'm not like it's going to be the Victory Bell. Just I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself to fight that Victory Bell, and if that's the case, I'm not really looking forward to it because you know Grass and Electric and. You know, junk like that. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, well, let's see here. Who do you have? It's the Victory Bell, right? You're gonna have the Victory Bell? Well, you're short. Oh, he's the Sneasel. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sneasels are great. Sneasels, fantastic. Dark Ice? Great. Makes me really, really, really hope that I get a hit on top of my first, on that very first route. Um, oh, that's almost not even fair that Hugh has Thunderbolt. But is that, like, is he gonna learn anything else other than TMs? Am I happy that I won? Am I happy that I kicked your butt? Your name's Bear. You're the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Now, I thought in, I thought in Gold and Silver, like he dropped his trainer card and you picked it up and you saw it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I could be wrong. So an item down here. How cool would it be to get Sir Thickness again? That would be pretty cool to me. I I would I would enjoy having Sir Thickness again. I'd be 100% okay with having Sir Thickness again. 
There's nothing there. I thought there was going to be an item down there. All right. Um, I can jump over this one. Hmm. Like the hit on top would be great because then I know that I all that I'll always have something to fight my rival with. Well, my rival's Ace. Oh, uh, Jolteon. I don't really need a Jolteon. Do electric moves affect you? Uh, so they don't have abilities yet, right? Okay, this isn't. They shouldn't kill. No. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a Jolteon, and I was seven levels higher than it. K. Okay. <laughs> Didn't even think about that one. All right, New Bark Town. I am so happy with this game. Like, I can remember when Gold and Silver first came out, my neighbor picked it up, and she let me and my cousin play her Gold and Silver. And I was just like, I need it. I need to get it. Did I happen to get his name? Yes, I did. Uh, we're going to name you Brandon again. Because once we did get him, our rivalry was reignited all over again. Yes, Brandon was his name. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go investigate. You do whatever. You do what you do. You there. Man, what was his egg? Egg. I wonder what's going to be that egg. Like, I'm really curious as to what is going to be in that egg. Because I have the speed up button. That means I can just go ahead and I can hatch it right there in... It is Violet City, right? Like, the next... Wait, I have the thing on my thing. I have the thing on my poke gear. I can go ahead and check. Make sure I talk with my mom. Oh, right. Oh, oh you give me Pokeballs, right? Yes, he does. He gave me five of them, right? I hope so. I hope you give me five. I'm pretty sure you gave me five. You did give me five. All right, where the heck is my Poke Gear? Oh, down one. Okay. Violet City. Okay, so it is Violet City. Oh, Sprout Tower. I was like, what was that? Okay, let's let's get on out here. Let's go over and talk to my mom so I wish she can save up save up my monies for me after every battle, send her home some change. Uh yeah, I gotta write you. So cute. It's this, you know, super dangerous electric mouse. Yep. I'll save some of the money. Or I'll have you save some of the money. That's fine with me. Just because she does buy you stuff and I wanna see if it randomizes. Granted, she also buys you a lot of junk, like dolls and mail and stuff. Um, no, I don't need you to, I don't need you to, no, no. You just have to walk around a lot, thanks. Okay, so let's see who is going to be our first, well, I guess our second Pokemon. And, what is this, what did I say, this is Route 29. Route 29, let me go ahead and write this down. I actually do have a notebook this time instead of my phone, so I wasn't always relying on my phone, just in case if it wasn't charged like now route 29 my okay gengar or hit on the or hit on top let's go it is a cold duck okay you're neither of what i was expecting but all right um i guess if you can live a quick attack because i know i can't thunderbolt you or thunder shock you Scratch, that's fine. Uh, pack. Pokeball, go. Boo. And one, two, three. There we go. We got us a gold duck. All right. So now we have to go get a nickname for a gold duck. It swims gracefully along the quiet, slow moving rivers and lakes of which it is so fond. Alright, well, I guess I need to go get a nickname for a Golduck. Give me a second. Alright, so Golduck's name is Blue Duck because that's just what he is. No. No what? Did you already change your mind? <laughs> Too late! I already named a Blue Duck! Blue Beak, sorry. <laughs> it's already been done! What's done is done. Its name is Blue Duck. So, funny story about Gold Duck, though, and then I have to end, end the episode because we're already 24 minutes into it, 25 minutes into it. So, once upon a time, when Pokemon first came out, um, I only had access to the TV show because it was before I had a Game Boy Color, and I got my hands on a Pokedex 
or sorry, it wasn't po it was a color in Pokedex more. It, yeah, it was a color in Pokedex, but it didn't have, you know, what the Pokemon's actual colors were. It just had their names. So when I saw Golduck, I instantly assumed like I knew what Psyduck was. So I instantly assumed that it also had to be gold or yellow. So I colored in this Golduck gold. And then I actually saw it on the, and then I actually saw a picture of it, or I saw it on uh, the cartoon, and then I was like, that is not how I pictured it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had a gold gold duck. So that is my my story for the gold duck. Never actually used a gold duck before, so that'll be interesting. Um, do you have an item? You no, oh, no, I have an item. Stats. Let's see what your stats are. Confusion? Okay, so we already got a psychic move. That's pretty good. Um, defense is a little bit iffy. Special attack is nice. All right, so we are... I'm okay with this. I'm a-okay with this. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we are going to have to end it there. I, I wanted to catch the first Pokemon before we ended it, and then I got rambling on my Golden Golduck stories. So, anywho, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys are as excited for Pokemon Crystal as I am. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye.